You know, all of us who grew up in Pakistan are touched by the sense of mysticism. Our culture has great depth and beauty. Mm. Our religion, Islam, is one of the most beautiful religions in the world. It teaches people about peace, mm. even though the message and narrative has been changed. Mm. So most of us have a very strong DNA and spiritual DNA, um, this desire to really find, seek the truth. But when I was in Silicon Valley, and again the dot-com bust happened, it was a very stressful time. In that stressful find, I wasn't feeling well uh, because of stress. Stress was getting to me because of, you know, chasing the world, it, and, and you know, you, you you get caught up in it. It, it takes a toll on you. And when it, when it took a toll on me, I I, I I took this class, the art of living class, which was a simple class. I just learned breathing exercises, which switched off my mind, right? and quieted my body down to be able to hear my heart or what you call my, your spirit. In the silence you really hear yourself. You're able to hear your spirit. And I did and I, oh, it was beautiful. And, and you know that beauty is what has, uh, I decided that I want to live a life which is connected to that. I want to be true to that. And I decided to become a teacher of it. And I said, this is technology. It's really technology to be able to access that. Now, because I, I'm a venture capitalist, I, I like the idea that technology can solve the problems. And I saw this as a technology that could change you know, hu human psychology to be able to switch off. Because we can't, our mind is normal, normally always working. This mind is what causes our trouble, our suffering. Mind and ego, two things, yeah. right? Ego is really the, 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 the real, yeah. uh, perpetual real. Yeah. But, yeah, so I felt it was uh, some, it changed my life so much, my health improved. Because when you relax, your body relaxes, your mind relaxes. Because in that, in that breathing exercise, what happens is you let go of a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. And you see that light in, within yourself, the, the light that you are. You realize that you know, happiness and joy is not outside, it's within you. Mm -hmm. And you need to, you know, the external, if you get caught up in the external world, you may lose sight of that. Right? So I decided to follow through and I came back to Pakistan and like I said, I became a teacher of it uh, for one year and I still continue practice. I teach it, still teach it because I really feel it's, it's important. I think there's a revolution happening anyway in spirituality, in all our cultures, in Islam, in, in the wider world because I think people are realizing that this materialism and the, not, it's not materialism per se, it's this greed that has mm. now taken over. Commercialism, where only commercialism, what is it? When I get a new car or nicer car, will I feel good? But your nature is happiness. So you don't need anything to be happy. You have to be, tr you get find happiness by being true to yourself, by being learning to know that you and everyone else belongs to you, by right, that you loving everyone. That is happiness. Mm -hmm. So I started, uh, and this has become my key. Even business, I believe there's a new value system that's coming in. Mm -hmm. Businesses that in, imbibe this kind of value are going to treat the customers differently. They're not going to treat, I'm selling something to someone and I don't care what it is, as long as I can make money of it. You'll, your products and services should improve the lives of people. It should change their lives. And that's why I love Acumen, because Acumen really believes in this philosophy. Ki companies, they build products and services yeah. that serve their customers, to improve their lives, to empower them, to give them choice right, that they didn't have before.